to make a short video um, explaining about what a MAPS doctor is and just give you a little bit of um, a rundown on our experience with ours um, as we just started working with one um, this past year. So MAPS stands for um, Medical Academy of Pediatric Special Needs. Um, it used to previously be referred to as a DAN doctor, which stands for Diffie Autism Now, but it's now being referred to as a MAPS doctor. Um, a MAPS doctor is similar to a functional medicine doctor or a biomedical doctor. Um, so very different than Western modern medicine. It's more holistic based. It looks at the child from a, um, as their whole self. So it's going to look at underlying issues, how they all correlate with each other, and um, finding the root medical issues of what is driving those autism-like symptoms. Um, Contrary to popular belief, autism is not a behavioral disorder. It is underlying medical conditions. The children are sick and um, they need to get looked at um, from an internal standpoint. So if you, the best thing you can do to help your child is to run some lab work, supplement for essential vitamins and minerals, get them on a healthy diet, remove, um, foods that are like excitotoxins, um, remove glutamate, remove foods that are fortified with folic acid, um, things that could be clogging their methylation cycle, causing them to retain toxins, um, so many things that you can do to help your child. Um, and visiting a MAPS or a biomedical doctor will um, help guide you in the right direction and they'll be able to customize a care plan that is specific to your child's individual needs because we know it is a spectrum and every child is so different and so unique. Um, some of these children acquired um, some of their toxic burdens in utero from their mother. Some of them are vaccine injured. Um, so again, every child's different. There's even some children who have um, pathogenic infect infections such as um, Lyme disease. So if you are interested in learning about that, you can go on to Google and type in Lyme-induced autism. I think you'd be shocked to find that it is highly prevalent in the autism community, um, and it's probably something you might have never considered to be um, the root cause of your child's symptoms. So, um, our MAPS doctor. So we are, we live here in Las Vegas, and we are seeing Dr. Armin Nikogosian. Um, he goes by Dr. Nick for short. His last name is can be kind of tricky to say. If you want to learn more about his practice, you can go to his website. Um, there's tons of really good information about biomedical treatments and how he runs his practice. The website is www.autismbiomedcenter.com and there is contact information on there if you wanted to reach out and inquire about scheduling a um, full comprehensive um, assessment. Um, so his first visit is two hours long and he spends the entire two hours undivided attention with you and your child. If you are unable to come to his office in Las Vegas, he also offers um, Skype appointments or remote consultations all over the U.S. and internationally as well. The only issue is if it is international, um, depending on your country's specific laws, he may not be able to prescribe you um, medications or like um, like methyl B12 injections. It really depends on your country's uh, laws or your state's laws if you're here in the U.S. Um, so we went and had our first evaluation in January and um, 
he really goes into depth looking at the child. So he's looking at um, what your pregnancy was like, what the delivery was like, what infancy was like, um, what kind of medications the child was given, if they ever, have ever been sick, what vaccinations they've received, um, the mother's health, the father's health, um, health higher up, so like um, grandparents, all of these things that can play a role in what it was that triggered the child's autism. And one thing that I really like about Dr. Nico Gosian is that he will try to determine what it was exactly that is driving your child's autism. So whether it is a genetic factor, whether it's environmental factors, whether it's something that was passed from mom to baby in utero, um, he will try to kind of diagnose what kind of autism you're dealing with. Um, so for us, um, it we he came to the conclusion that it was me, my um, my burdens that I've passed on to my children, my own health issues. Um, I mean, it's not that I blame myself um, or I feel guilty about anything. It's more so just trying to um, get to the bottom of it and see um, where things kind of went haywire and try to find the best solution to addressing these underlying issues that are going on. Um, so some of the things that we have started with since seeing Dr. Nico Goshen are we have switched from a non-restrictive diet, so before we were just all organic, um, limit sugar, just try to eat like a well-rounded diet where now we are, the goal is to get to um, a candided or anti-candida diet, so sugar-free, completely sugar-free, even fruit. So I have an extremely picky eater. It's um, going to be very challenging for us to get there. So we started off by eliminating gluten and casein, which are two common triggers for um, kiddos with autism. Um, gluten, it's fortified with folic acid, which um, impairs the, fol um, the folate cycle and the methylation cycle, which impairs detox pathways and impairs mitochondria. Um, so we removed that, we removed the casein, um, and a lot of kids test um, positive for like an, uh, an allergy or a sensitivity to it. So once you can remove the gluten and the dairy, just right there, a lot of um, families will see gains. Um, so another thing that we started was the methyl B12 injections. So you do need a doctor prescription for that. And we are doing a methyl hydroxy B12 combo which I think is really um, cool because some kids don't do well with methyl, some kids do better with hydroxy, so um, Dr. Nick um, likes to do the combo, that way you're getting both and um, you're getting the maximum benefits from those B12 injections. Um, some other things that we um, started but we haven't been consistent in implementing it yet is um, synapsin, which is a it's a neuro regeneration nasal spray. So it basically repairs synapses in the brain that cause um, a loss of connection. So brain to mouth function or just um, a brain impairment, um, connections in the brain that just aren't working like they should. Um, it is a combination of ginseng, um, RG3 and uh, niacin or a B, vitamin B3 derivative product. It's natural. You just do um, one spray a day. It goes straight through the blood brain barrier. Um, so it's something we haven't, again, been consistent with yet, so I can't really speak on it. But um, once I can start implementing that regularly, I'll share an update with you guys on that. Um, we also ordered a bunch of lab work. Um, we just recently got the results back, so we're waiting to schedule our follow-up appointment and take our youngest child in for his first evaluation. So 
Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of briefly go over what a MAPS doctor is, what to expect at the appointment, and a little bit about um, what kind of new treatments we were implementing. I don't want to go into too much detail. I just wanted to keep it short and simple. So I hope that was helpful. And if you want to know anything more, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe. Um, if you, if there's something specific you want me to make a video on, just put a request in the comments and I'm happy to do that for you guys. So I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.